Hello, uh, in this video we'll continue the theme of single slit diffraction and we'll look at um, this diffraction and resolution. Now, what we looked at previously is the fact that when, um, when you get diffraction through a single slit, What you find is that you get a pattern, if a slit is slim enough, um, that looks something like this. We have a central maximum, and then either side, like that. So this is the, the centre. And what you find is this here is known as the first minimum. And using ra um, radians, we find that the angle to this and if it is equal to uh, the wavelength of the light divided by the slit width um, B. So now, what, what would happen if you had two point sources of light, light that were close to each other? Well, if they were close to each other, what you're going to find, say that they're really close like this, and we'll draw this in black you'll find something like this. You'll find this is the central maximum. And then, okay. And what you find is it is not resolved. You cannot, so if these are two point sources of light, due to diffraction, what would happen is you won't be able to see them apart. They'd kind of look something like this. And they, they, they would merge, you couldn't see one shape from another. However, if they were further apart, it would look something like this. So, this is where the central maximum will be. If they're further apart, that's the central maximum of one. And I use another colour. This is the central maximum of the other, and you find you, they are easily resolved. They are resolved. You can you can tell between them. Now, what we're going to talk about is when they are just resolved. What what are the conditions when they are just resolved? When you can just make out the difference between the two point sources of light. So to be just resolved, the central the central maximum of one, maximum of one, must be over the minimum, first minimum of the other. Central maximum of one must be directly over uh, the first minimum of the other, and that will be giving you just result. Uh, and this was proposed by uh, Raleigh as the Raleigh criteria for resolution. So what does it look like when it just resolves? Well, I shall draw that picture now. What it will look like is, it looks like this. We'll have so central maximum of one, like that, to the line down to show it's the middle, and then what we'll have, the central maximum of the other, for just resolving, just be able to make the two points sort of like is will be just above the first minimum of the other. And it'll look like this. Okay. Uh. Okay. And that's what it looks like. So that, that is the condition just resolved. Now, when they're just resolved, you'll find that the angle subtended between them um, from the, 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 the slit, or the, or the eye if you like, or the, the source is going to be theta equals lambda over b for a rectangular ship, slit, rectangle. Rectangular slit 
And for an I, which is a circle, the formula is changed with the angle of the first minimum. Angle to the first minimum is what we're going to get is 1.22 times the wavelength over B, where B is the slit width and lambda is the uh, wavelength of the light.